Thank you. So yes, I mean, the Weatherspoons down Riverside, Norwich have lost 3-2 to Leeds. Not many Norwich fans around hanging in the pub, but I've got one here. What's your emotions after that one? Uh, major disappointment again for the fourth week running, especially after Brighton last week. I think after Brighton, people were expecting or wanting changes. It was the same back five. Any any thoughts or reasons why you think he might have done that? Um, I think he's just playing safe. Um, he's scared to make the changes uh, to improve the team. Um, as a manager, he buys players, um, expensive buys, and doesn't play them. Um, McGovern should definitely have been dropped today after Brighton. Um, but that's where we are. I don't think really tactically, as last year, he knows what he's doing deep down. When you're playing Rotherham and teams like that, you can stroll all over them. The last few games have shown where we are. We are nowhere. Was there a sense of inevitability when Norwich scored that late equaliser with Lafferty that you almost felt that we weren't going to see it out? Yes, yeah. Every most people in the ground would have been happy with 2-2. We were poor second half. and um, But you thought Leeds will come again. Leeds is a unit today. They've got no standout players. We all know, I know Chris Wood is a good player. Um, and he was a threat all day. We just followed him about but never marked him. Never done a job on him. So what's your emotions now with, with Alex Neil? Because there's, there's been intense speculation, not, not from within the club, but from outside where people are, are now questioning whether he should be the man to, to lead Norwich. Where are you at with that? Um, personally, I said after the Premier League debacle and his tactical nose was nothing, um, he's now doing it again now in the Championship. Um, the fan, most of the fans want him to go. I think deep down, no matter what they say, they want to get behind the team, but that's not there. And nothing's changed from last week, in my opinion. The back four is like the Keystone Cops, and with the keeper as well, who's five foot nothing, that doesn't help. OK, well, thank you ever so much for, for speaking to me. I appreciate it. Um, not the easiest of the evenings. It's but not an easy evening, but thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to speak to some Leeds United fans now. Um, Hello. Yeah, it's all right, guys. How are we? Well, I presume Andy, mate. You're, you're, Andy. you're the happy bunch, aren't you, tonight? Just slightly, pal. Just slightly. But come here today, I'd have been happy with a point. Personally, happy with a point today. We've got three points. Chuffed to bits. Absolutely chuffed to bits. And to be fair, I thought we were well worth it. I thought we, maybe it's 2 0, first half, end of first half. I thought we bossed game from start to finish, other than probably 10 15 minutes when Norwich scored. And then we're a bit under weather like. But other than that, yeah, absolutely chuffed to bits. To come here and get three points, that's big for Leeds, that. Big. Is that how you see it as well? That's a big three points? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Momentum with Leeds. Uh, Norwich got obviously battered at Brighton last week. And then we'd done them with ten men week before in the League Cup. Um, I don't know where they go from here. I don't know where they go from here. Leeds, momentum's with Leeds. Buzzing. Did Norwich look like a team shot of confidence because it's, it's, it's four or five games now with, with no win and there is now pressure building? I think the vast majority of football supporters would have tipped Geordies and Norwich to get automatic promotion. They've got the money. To be fair, they've got the players. I hate to say it, you're missing a certain leads I've called Johnny Alston. And yeah. you know, he, he's massive in middle of the park for me, for Norwich. He's out injured, he's struggling. What that dressing room's like, I don't really know. but. They look short on confidence, like, Leeds, Leeds were 100% for me, the best team today. They were the best team. And, and for Leeds, it was a relatively slow start, wasn't it, to the season, but they're really picking up now under Gary Monk. Where do you reckon they can finish this year? I think they could probably be getting playoffs, but that is awful. Leeds fans, we've not had, we've not had awful for 10 no. years. <laughs> so it's hard, it's hard to get excited, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah. really hard to get excited, yeah. but I'm trying to get excited. I'll set up for playoffs. Uh, yeah, I, I will. So you just, you just know there's going to be someone going to yeah. trip you up right corner because yeah. that's what Leeds do. They build up and build up and build up. Everyone's on an eye, and all of a sudden someone trips you up. Yeah. You're flat on your face, and that, that we're back to square one. But also it's a steady ship, aren't you, Gary? Moore. There's still a team that's not performing that's still going to come from somewhere like, yeah. like Reading did years ago, where they yeah. just came from nowhere. There's still a team out there that might be. I don't know, but Newcastle have won it. Bookies might as well pay out now. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was in playoffs. Gary Monk's the man. 